Hey everybody, welcome back to Outer Wilds. This is now our second trip out. And I'm considering whether or not we should go to the same place or if we should go somewhere different. So we did get some clues here on uh, this island where the Nomai created statues like the one in our observatory found one lying on the beach looks like just looks like the one that we've seen before and then this workshop there's a sign for the statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island some children debated bypassing the statue workshop's door and sneaking inside via an alternate more dangerous route i can see a large cave from one of the ruins on top of the island the bottom of the cave is filled with water now we have to somehow get below the water ocean depths there's a strong current that prevents anything from sinking below it. So we can go back there. There's more to explore. Or we can go off to somewhere different. Now my text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Adel Rock, The lunar runes. So, I don't know. We can kind of go wherever we want. And on one hand, it might be cool to go back. Might be cool to check out somewhere new. I don't know. I think let's go back and see if we can figure out... How to get into that workshop. We know there's an alternate way. We need to go to Giant's Deep. And, uh... Let's just rock and roll. We'll engage autopilot. It's only 12 kilometers away. And I think because of the way that this game works, where we kind of operate on this cycle of, uh, of Groundhog's Day, <laughs> it's kind of cool uh, for episodes on YouTube. So we'll try and keep them like one visit per episode. I think that'll work out okay. We have to solve the problem of this current, something that's stopping us from getting underneath. Autopilot's complete. All right. It's getting closer. Oh, there we... We're in. We're in. We're in. All right. So, if we try to just take this thing underwater, what happens? Whoa, look at that. Look at this. We're actually under here. Okay, we're not super low. Look at the storms. I don't really want to leave the atmosphere. Whoa! Okay, so that's launched us right out. All right, we'll be careful with those with the cyclones. Careful, careful, careful. Now this Looks interesting. Wonder if we can land on the opposite side of this. Yes, we can. All right, hold up. You know, not bad. <laughs> it could be worse. So, I don't know if they all, if everywhere is going to have these designated, like, landing spots. That's pretty nice, if they do. So, we've seen these kind of activate when, like, a cyclone hits the area. A scroll. What is this? Does this go here? Oh, nice. All right. 
This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. So, does that, there's something flying around this area, maybe? To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I've given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where other attempts may not. Or have not. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but you're atypical for you. Or, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. If I know my brother, Avens and his spouse will be able to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Okay. Whoa, see? See? Hold up. Look. See, we don't know what this does. But when we're underwater like this... Yeah, see, that's... Hmm. That is trippy. We're under again. Now it's gone. And I'm guessing this is like... Maybe... Is this like a replica of the orbital probe, maybe? Could be. Whoa. Oh! Wait, why? I do not see one of those crystals here. So why is it that we're switching... Perspective like that? Uh... Okay. That is so bizarre. Looks like we got a broken uh, jump over here. Maybe we can make that. What's this though? Pick up Brittle Hollow Projection Stone. What the hell? is the brittle hollow projection drop it what the? so i can just put it down anywhere let's leave it here for now oh there's something over there There's some glyphs or something over there. Let me take this now. We could try going back to that side. We can try our... It's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like there's an easier way to access it. Okay, what am I looking at here? This looks like that little replica thing that we saw. Oh, hello! What the frick? Whoa! What happened there? Too close to target text. Seven minutes, 41 seconds ago, long range probe successfully launched from the orbital cannon. Control module projection stone. Oh, wait a sec.
This looks like... This is like one of these. So there's one with, uh... One... Octagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. What's the six? I don't know what that's called. There's two and three. And it looks like they're pointing to these different sections. Uh... Now, this one didn't do anything. This one did. See, it's like connecting those there. Like a dome over top. A couple cyclones that way. Whoa, that is so weird. Hold on, let's read this. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kesava. I wish I were my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She feels Idea may feel responsible. So I'm going to I'm going to remove this. Oh no. We're being flooded. Or whatever. Just be cool. It'll pass. Maybe the maybe that's all these are for. Is to like hold us in place while that's happening? I'm going to see if this does anything here. Yes, it does, actually. It's showing us something else. There's another stone. That's the second one. But there's no way to, like, access them. Because as soon as we leave this area... And we can't use any of our tools in here. What? I don't know what this means. Because that's like another planet. There's Gabbro. Hmm. Three minutes of oxygen. We got trees here. And we're back in this section. That is so weird. So we're likely going to have to... Go up and maybe find that orbital probe. And... Learn about how to... Operate those little stones. There's two things we can do. Let's go in the air for a second. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Don't really want to get sucked into that. Ooh, is that one like disappearing? 
So if I go in, they launch us out of here, right? Yeah. Okay, don't want that. Now hold up a second. What's this thing? There's such a sense of discovery, like, it looks like we could just do anything we want. Ghost matter detected? Okay. Get trees. What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. So I've got nowhere. Hmm. So this gets stuck in the ghost matter as well. Maybe we can still just navigate around it if we're careful. Hold up. Trip four. Entry number whatever. Crashes two. Boring crashes zero. Remember to see slate when I get back. Ah, uh, yeah. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giants Deep. You just got Feldspart, so he got in. Or they got in. That was one of my most dramatic feats, if I say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted? Can't wait to tell Hornfells and Ghostland about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right. That's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. <laughs> no time for... No time for that. What is this, though? What in the hell? That is weird. Oh yeah, let's be careful here. Okay. Well. We did get a couple of ship updates. I haven't really messed around with the current very much. Oh, we should get this back. So we know these cyclones, like, push us up out of the atmosphere. Are there any... that could, like... suck us under, maybe?
I'm going to look to see if there's anything that operates differently out here. Let's get out of the way here. Whoa. See, it just pushed... Whoa. It, like, pushes the, uh... The whole island out. This one's rotating opposite, I think. What happens if I go into this one? <gasps> um. Holy frick. Exit ship to repair electrical systems damaged. That's not good. Is this that thing that we saw? Underneath? Or in that thing? Is this what electrocuted us, I wonder? Whoa. Well, we figured something out. We figured out how to beat the current, I think. But look at this. It's all protected with these giant... What's this? It's all this big electrical shield. Oh, boy. There's got to be something to do with these. Right? There's got to be. Holy guacamole. Holy frick! Whoa. Okay. This is actually kind of cool. Um, we figured out how to get under the water. So, it was to do with those cyclones. And I'm thinking that somehow those little jellyfish type things... We went through it and, and down. And it was like clear of electricity. That's gotta be something. Right? It's gotta be something. I wonder if I should investigate somewhere else. You're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. You're lucky I don't ground you for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, this is so bizarre. So anyway, I hope you guys are up for, like, some puzzles. If you want to work together and, like, give some ideas, that would be totally cool. Um, I probably will have to record a bunch in advance, but I will take your stuff into consideration for future episodes. Don't spoil anything for me if you if you can avoid it. Uh, I think the sense of discovery is is going to be really, really cool. Um, I just don't know whether or not we should just explore other planets and get other clues. Um, maybe what we'll... Let's, let's actually take a look at the ship log. We should probably start and end with that each time to see what's been updated. And that way we can kind of stay on the ball about uh, about certain things. Oh, yeah. See, look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. So there's still more to explore there. Fine. Ocean depths. Ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds it. I passed through the electrical barrier and reached the coral forest at the planet's core, and then I blew up. Felsbar found a way to reach the core of Giant's Deep. Gabra says there's a strong current below the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking. Oh, so these little I these little arrows have something too. Or do they? 
Yeah, they do. Okay. So everything's pointing towards the ocean depths. Bramble Island. Island of thorny vines. What appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Feldspar. Headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. So there must be a linkage between getting to that core and then going to Dark Bramble. Huh. Construction Yard. This island is where the Nomai built the Orbital Probe Cannon. For some reasons, the Nomai put the Orbital Probe Cannon on indefinite hiatus. Cannon was not asked to fire. According to a Nomai computer, a long-range probe was recently launched from the Orbital Probe Cannon. Nomai finished building the final module for the Orbital Probe Cannon sent into orbit around Giants Deep. I used Nomai projection tool, saw the interior of a space station in orbit around Giants Deep. Oh. That's what I saw. Okay. So that means we definitely have to find the thing that's in orbit. And that's where those other um, little disks are. Finish building the final module. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I don't know. Do we go back? Or what? When it when this little orange thing means there's more to explore, so... I don't know. This is going to get pretty out of hand if I, if I don't try to just finish one thing at a time. I feel like we're on to something here because everything says he got to the core. Uh, wait, where is it? Found a way to reach the core, so he did that. We figured out how to get down there. Then he headed off to Dark Ramble after reaching the core. So I kind of feel like we should do that first, but I don't know. Anyways, wish me luck, guys, okay? This is pretty intense. Hope you're having a good time. It's really weird, and I, I kind of really like it. See you soon. Bye.